what you saw on television or thought that was Chandra and three was actually a computer generation uh, generated animation of it. Uh, these were not live pictures of Chandrayaan. What they were doing was, the scientists of history were doing was that you could have seen that graph that was going, that pinpoint dot. They tracked that and then simulated to show how it would possibly be in the terrain that is there. A uh, very clever thing, very interesting. They did it even for the launch of Chandrayaan 2. But it's clearly computer generated images. And the reason is you really can't have another spacecraft close enough uh, to photograph the entire process. Let's be very clear that there is no atmosphere in, uh, in the moon as we have it on the Earth. When it comes to temperatures, the moon's temperature can vary from 127 degrees centigrade. If 100 is the boiling point of water, you can imagine how hot it is, particularly at the equator, and drop down to as much as minus 30 degrees centigrade, where if you look at uh, the pole, Antarctic pole in uh, uh, down here in Earth, it's about minus 70, so twice the hold of those places. Of course, that is one of the reasons why we're going up to the moon, to mine a lot of uh, rare minerals that you could find, whether it's platinum, you, you get other nuclear materials that you could possibly find over there, and helium gas as well. Helium gas is a mutant uh, nuclear reactor. Yes, it does. We don't know how much quantity that has to be assessed. What we ha we do know, and that's uh, the interesting thing about it, is when Chandrayaan-1, the first orbiter that we sent, that just went around the moon, it also had an impactor probe. And when it went down, it struck the South Pole and immediately was able to detect. We now know that certain parts of the moon, especially the coldest parts of the poles, are with water ice. That's one of the reasons why India went to the poles is to the South Pole is to find out whether what is the you know whether we can have use the South Pole to mine water to collect water through water ice melt it and then use it. That I think is the main purpose that uh, uh, Chandrayaan and other missions to the Moon are now uh, now looking at. Uh, we have been to the moon before, if you, uh, you know, starting from 59 onwards to 1972, when the Americans sent up, uh, even, a, you know, put human beings on the moon, and until about uh, 1976. But there's a great revival that has happened uh, after the year 2000, including in the 1990s. And now we have a major project called the Artemis Project, which the US NASA is spearheading. That's their space agency, like we have Indian Space Research Organization. Uh, in India and what it has done, it has signed up 27 countries and India has just become one of the members of that. That project now hopes to put humans back in the moon. Both the rover and the lander have cameras and you do get a good resolution. What it takes is time. So in a couple of, uh, maybe uh, depends on Indian Space Research Organization priorities, it will uh, map the surface of the moon. It will take photos of the lander and the vice versa. The lander can take photographs of the rover moving around. Uh, you will get good photos over there. Right now you're getting very blurry photos because uh, it is just the starting process of it. But as the process goes, these cameras are pretty good. They did send back images uh, of it and you will see a lot more of it. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.